Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. I thought I'd do a collective reading here for everyone. I'm on vacation, as a lot of you may know already, so that's why my setup looks a little different here. But I thought I'd do a collective. I haven't done a collective in a while. This will be a collective love read. Let's see what the energy is here for the collective. Now everything that you need to know is in the description box. The only thing I'll mention is I do give away free personal readings each month. So details uh, below how to enter. Okay. We already got some cards dropping out here. So let's see what the energy is. Okay. We have a Knight of Wands showing up here we have an empress okay that tells me there's some sort of communication coming your way here too can be a very um exciting time okay i feel here as well the birth is something new let's see here yeah communication we got a king of swords energy let's see uh what else we have here and we also have an emperor aries energy so i'm picking up emperor we have um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Strong Libra, Aries, and Leo as well. Wow, look at this. A lot of cards of communication. Page of Wands here. Someone coming towards you. Very optimistic here. Very passionate energy as well. We also have here, look at that, Queen of Wands. Someone's really attracted to your energy. And I feel as this Empress, they're not someone who's attracted to you just for your looks here. I feel like they see you as very well put together. They could even see you as somebody that they wanna have a child with, have the children with. Let's see what else we have here for the collective. Please share with the collective what they need to know, okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ace of Cups energy. Somebody here, a King of Swords. Somebody wants the romantic opportunity with you. Beautiful. Beautiful energy here. Okay. And it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. Let's keep going. What else can you share with the collective? Please show the collective what they need to know. Okay. Wow, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. I feel like there is a relationship here. Someone's coming towards you. Very excited, motivated, very attracted to you. There's the birth of something new here. Communication, someone wants to offer their cup of love. Could be somebody with the initials M or W. And the Hierophant here could lead to a relationship. Taurus energy there. Okay, and we also have here the star card. Okay, Aquarius energy. Wow, someone you're coming into alignment with. Beautiful energy, very balanced energy as well. Okay, interesting. Now we do have a Capricorn energy. We do have the devil here. Okay, now I'm gonna say here, I don't feel like it's a return here with someone, it can be, but I feel this devil energy is just someone who is thinking very uh, intimate thoughts about you. They're seeing you as the queen of empress, but they're also seeing you as the queen of wands here. So um, it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. So someone's very, I'm going to say, sexually attracted to you there. <laughs> with that devil energy is what I'm getting here. Okay, and then we have here judgment. Someone's making that judgment call here uh, to come towards you. Now, before I say anything about judgment, I'm gonna pull another card. Okay, and we also have here the Nine of Cups. Wow, wow, I just have to say wow. Now I'm gonna say for some of you, it could be somebody here from your past with judgment, why wanting uh, renewal of love here, a new love here, a king of swords, but you know, some of you, this is new love. Okay. And it just can be the judgment may be here because maybe you've dealt with toxic relationships here in the past, but there's somebody here. Okay. This emperor here, I feel like this person sitting back, they're planning their next move here. This may be somebody who hasn't reached out to you, right? Have, has been, 
Um, this King of Swords here, right? There's communication. They're making that decision to reach out to you here, okay? That is the wish here with the Nine of Cups. And look what you have on the bottom of the deck. You have the Ace of Wands, okay? Again, opportunity here for growth. Someone very passionate about you, attracted to you. You have the Page of Pentacles, a message coming through. So this person is coming towards you with a message. And look, Three of Pentacles, beautiful. Somebody here coming together with you here, okay? I almost feel like this person is talking to other people about you. So they're getting ready to send some sort of message, but this is someone I feel who's talking about you. They're telling, you know, I feel like they could be telling friends, some of you even family here, someone who's coming towards you. You also have here the Seven of Pentacles. They've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting here about coming towards you. Look at that, Queen of Cups. They have something to offer here and give with the Queen of Cups. Some of you, this could already be someone who has feelings. We also have here the Page of Swords. So they've been doing some spying on you. They're keeping an eye on you. Wow, that's all I have to say. A lot of you, I feel like this is a new person coming towards you. Now, some of you, this could be someone, if you have hopes, right, to, there's a particular person around you or someone that you are thinking of, it could be this person. So let's pull some more tarot. Let's see what else comes out for the collective. What else can you share with the collective? Definitely see some sort of message, phone call, text message. And as I say that, look at that. Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords. That's telling me here. Communication is coming through. And again, the Page of Swords. Someone's very curious about you. They're thinking about you, I sense here. Someone who may be keeping an eye on you. It could even be that spying energy but they've held back okay they this is someone I feel that has held back a little bit here uh, you know maybe has known for a while oh wow here's judgment again okay making a judgment call here I feel to reach out to you some of you like I said this could be someone you know from your past now it can also be somebody that you know is not like an ex right it could be a friend from the past it could be someone in your past or maybe you dated this person it was very short-lived it's going to be different for everyone. So let's see what else comes out for the collective here. Please show the collective what they need to know. All right. Oh, there it is. Page of Cups. Again, someone reaching out to you. You're going to get some sort of sincere, friendly message from this person. Three of Wands. They're getting ready to take that leap okay they're envisioning it they're thinking about the communication they're thinking about the possibilities here of the future they already have the intention there with that three of wands to communicate with you let's see what else we have here there it is eight of wands yeah communication the momentum's changing the energy is shifting here Okay, now I'm going to say here too with this judgment, I almost feel like there's a divine orchestration here, angel protection here. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw the lover's card, but bottom of the deck here, you have the sun card, Leo energy. So this is someone who sees the potential here. You have the king of pentacles. This is someone coming towards you, very stable here. Okay, somebody stable, somebody who's thinking about what they have to offer here. This may be somebody who does very well in uh, their career and their life here. Uh, somebody who does well financially or they make good investments and decisions is what I'm getting here. And look at that, four of wands. Okay, this is someone here coming towards you. This is someone coming towards you that sees stability with you. They see, I mean, this is just beautiful energy. You have the sun card, you have the king of pentacles, and you have the four of wands all together. This is someone I feel who's coming towards you with relationship in mind. Something very happy here. Let's see what else we have here. Now, bottom of the deck, we were pulling from bottom of the deck, but we also have here the ace of wands. Look at that. The Ace of Wands, the World card, and the Knight of Wands. And the first card out here, remember why I said here you have the Knight of Wands. Somebody coming towards you, very excited 
Um, they see a lot of potential. Oh, I got to cover this up. They see a lot of growth here with the world card. Okay, there's this is success around the corner. This is new beginnings here, new cycles here and feeling on top of the world. There's a lot of potential here with the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands here. A lot of passion, opportunity, uh, potential for growth here, communication. Wow, I just have to say, wow. Very surprised here with this energy, okay? Because uh, of what I've been seeing in the signs. So someone's coming towards you, okay? Very nice energy. Let's pull the Yin Yang Oracle. Let's see what uh, the energies are here. What else can you share with the collective? What does the collective need to know? Please share with the collective what they need to know. Okay. All right. Now, we have illusions here, okay? And what I'm going to say here with illusions here is that this could be uh, the relationship you fantasized about. This could also be you're, you're feeling like, I don't know who this is. I don't know who's coming towards you. Some of you are going to know who's coming towards you. Now, this could be somebody in the past that maybe, uh, you know, maybe they did confuse you or they didn't, um, they weren't very clear you know, about uh, where the connection was going, okay? Also can be about codependency as well, but let's see what else here. Okay, we have self-worth. It says here healing, unworthiness, boundaries, expectations, values, and high vibrational, okay? So I feel like with the collective reading here, this is a situation where you've grown a lot and you know your worth here, okay? Your vibration is rising. That's why this energy feels really nice here. It doesn't feel negative. It feels very positive. It feels like you're being led here to a uh, very high vibrational relationship, a stable relationship here with someone where there's a lot of potential. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, now we have guilt here. Now this can be, um, you know, you got the nine, this is the nine of swords energy. So some of you may, uh, you know, have a lot, uh, may deal with anxiety. Some of you insomnia here. Uh, now I'm going to say some of you, this could be somebody who is guilty coming back around, somebody who confused you, but that's not going to be everybody. This could be you just worrying, right? Maybe you've been thinking about, um, you know, love in your life, who's coming towards you, right? And uh, like I said, high vibrational energy. Somebody who is high vibrational, who is coming towards you, you, you will never feel anxiety with that person. Somebody who is in high vibration, they will be very clear. They won't confuse you, right? They will let you know where things are going. They will make you feel secure and you will not feel any anxiety, okay? Let's see what else we have. Okay, now we have separation. Some of you, maybe you haven't been in a relationship, in a love relationship for a long time. Some of you have gone through divorce or, you know, you've had your dreams broken in love and have had heartbreak and grief. And that can be why you feel some anxiety when it comes to love as well, because you've been hurt, right? There's been heartbreak. But some of you too, this could be you've had to learn self-worth. And some of you, I will say, this could be somebody coming back uh, from separation, okay? If you've been in separation with someone. Okay, look at that. Venus, there's an offer of love coming your way here with the Venus card. Romance, love, beauty. Okay, this is also about wealth and harmony and attraction. There's a love offer coming your way. This Venus is the goddess of love there. Okay, so let's, uh, I think I'm going to just close out the reading here for the collective. And let's see what the energy is here uh, from the Fortune Oracle cards here. I might get some guidance too. Let me move these cards over. I'm going to get some guidance for the collective as well. 
Okay, so we have the snake here, okay? The snake isn't bad. Um, you know, it could be the end of a, a difficult cycle here, but it says your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. This is really just about being cautious. Why, right? when a snake sheds its skin, it's like it's all brand new again. So that's the energy here you're moving towards. You're a new person. Like I said, you're a new person. You know your worth now. You're moving forward. Let's see what we have here. Now we have the fire, another number 10. It says, let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. Okay, so you're in a renewal energy and you're shedding your skin of the old. There's a whole new you is what I'm getting here with that snake here, okay? And there was something else that I wanted to say. Oh, the emotional upheaval. Now we talked about this guilt energy, the anxiety here. Okay, so remember, right? Don't the emotions can trigger you into being in that anxiety energy here? Okay, we also have here number seven, which is the cracker. <laughs> I love this card. Positive energy surrounds you, love, joy, and good fortune await. Let's get another card here for the collective. Okay. Oh my gosh. You know, I got another beware card here. Number three, be careful who you trust at this time. Okay. Again, a card of caution here. Some of you, you know, everybody's in a different phase. Some of you, there could be somebody returning here who caused a lot of anxiety or hurt. Okay. But I feel like for a lot of you, there's a new energy coming towards you. So I feel like this is to like kind of um, stay in that neutral energy. Number three tells me there's communication, the birth of something new here. Okay, you also have number 31, which is four. This is the thorns. It says weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. So this is telling me, right? Be cautious. You are gonna get through the obstacles, the challenges, right, that you're either going through or that you went through in the past. And we also have the plane, number 26, which is eight. It says a journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically, your life will become more full. Okay, this is like my taking off energy, number 26, which is eight, which tells me, right, there's, there's possibilities, right? You're gonna have some possibilities here. Uh, something, there's a birth of something new about to happen. And whatever it is, you're going to leave behind the, the challenges and, you know, the anxiety of the past. You're moving into a higher vibration here. Okay, yeah, look at that. You're more wise now here with the owl. It says there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. Yes, you're going through a transition at this time and you're more wise. You know, your, your vibration is higher. Oh, look at that, the phoenix. The phoenix has been coming out a lot in the readings. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. This is rising from the ashes. So you're rising above of all those things in the past, those challenges, those blocks, right? The hurt, the pain here, you're more wise. It's what it's showing me. Oh, and look at this, beautiful. Bottom of the deck here, you do have marriage. And that's what I said, I feel like, you're being led to a relationship here that is going to be secure, feels like uh, long term, but it says you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Yes, you are. Beautiful energy. All right, let's close it out and pull um, some guidance cards here for the collective. Please share with the collective what they need to know. Please share with the collective what they need to know. Okay, motivation. And that's what I was saying. Someone's coming towards you very motivated, but you're gonna feel more motivated. You're gonna feel desired. You're gonna feel more passionate energy there. Um, prosperity lies ahead. Beautiful. Happiness, prosperity. That's the new moon in Taurus. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You also have here, be bold and make the first move. Interesting. Now this could be your person, but um, some of you, maybe it's you. Maybe you're needing to uh, reach out to someone or let's see what else we have. Adjustments are required. 
finances. Okay, that could be a side note here. Something There may be something with your money and your finances that you need to change. You have a fiery climax approaches. Yes, there's a lot of passionate energy here. Look at that. Luck is on your side. Cupid's arrow getting ready to strike. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius here with that energy. You and your loved ones are safe. This is the new moon in Cancer. Could be dealing with the Cancerian. And we also have here realizations and epiphanies. Okay, you're going to gain insights here from your guides, your angels, um, about moving forward here because they're moving you towards something very prosperous. I feel relationship energy. I feel good energy. A new cycle here, very passionate exciting time I feel in your life but they're also telling you don't be don't forget to take care of you here with the self-care energy so um, I hope you enjoyed your reading I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day sending you angel love and light